at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news can you chill for two sacks we go in we talk we leave that's it Hanako-sama <laughs> She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh? Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. 
I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AV has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Hmm. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of our Arasaka top brass? Call me crazy, but and that sounds like fucking suicide. I will need to re- This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamura said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So... Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally, but think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. 
he may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just, uh, you are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries about that. You could use some air right now. to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. Want me to hand over the keys. I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo-endotrizine, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Uh-huh. How oh, exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside, Makoshi. It's our only chance. Rogue? I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny... It's gotta work. We breach the tower. Alt cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. It means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How did I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. They missed you a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... I wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up. Carefully. Okay, but... Don't expect a miracle. <sighs> Slowly. Another victory for the history books. Hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up, all right. But I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. 
I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah. What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrys in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just not in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here. Thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie, what? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. The same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but. He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, 
was still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Nah, not really my style. Goodbyes. You do you. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I think you ought to go with Rogue. Two of you together got the best shot. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Just... hold on a minute. Need to think. another option, you know? What? We put all this, the pills, everything, to bed. If we don't try something, anything, we're both doomed. Exactly why we'll do one last thing. Okay. Lost me. Realize the shit we've been through to get this far. Sure do. To let it all go now. Why? Cleanest, least bloody option. We try anything else, people will die. People die. It's the way of things. Am I worth their sacrifice? Are you? Besides, it's the only way we'll both be aware. Of what? Death? Mm -hmm. The moment life escapes. Hmm. Never really gave it a thought. Funny how you still manage to surprise me sometimes. Might be something I learned from you. V, you sure about this? Long as you got nothing against it. Not how I'd have done it. But that's alright. 
right. Just like that? No pushback. Huh. Might have learned a little something from you, too. Is it time? You know, it really is beautiful. Been nice working with you, V. Yeah. With you too, Johnny. You thought 
This would solve everything, didn't you? That this would adequately convey what you thought of this shitty world, huh? That's something that always pissed me off, you know? This whole romanticizing suicide bullshit. Like we're all Romeo and Juliet. Because you're so fucking original, aren't you? The only thing you proved is that you don't give a fuck about your friends. Am I right? What a fucking waste. Suicide, huh? Well, guess it wasn't that far-fetched. At least, that's how half the people in Night City end up anyway. Especially the good ones. Jin Machine. My first partner back on the Force. Blew his brains out. Didn't leave a note or anything. But I knew it was because of how the top brass were handling things. Of course, not like it changed much. Except the fact we were down one more decent batch. Anyway. Hope you're in a better place, V. Hey, V. Don't think you'll ever listen to this message, but... There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in my philosophy. Right? I mean, in the end... In the end, it was your choice. Your choice to make. But... Well, you should know it... It didn't just affect you. It hit your friends, too. I don't think... I don't think you knew just how many friends you really had. Maybe we'll see each other again, V. Me, Jackie. Until then, take care. Cause we lost everything. We had to pay the price. See your eyes, I know you see me You're like 
I know! <laughs> it's awesome, right? Let's watch the first act together. Se recuerda a las propiedades de 